Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Westpac came out with a 3.34 billion dollar cash profit. Now that did actually beat consensus. Consensus was sitting in at 3.28, so it was slightly better. On an EPS diluted basis at 91.6 cents, it was below consensus, which came in at 97. Interim dividend of 75 cents, fully franked, consensus at 71, but then there was the kicker, wasn't there? They gave you a special dividend of 15 cents on top of that. I'm gonna to come to that point because there is arguments to be made that they can't keep doing this where they sit. If you look at capital tier one ratio, 12.5%, which is pretty reasonable. And overall, the results on the headlines were okay, I think is the way to come it to you. Net interest income down 1% to $9.1 billion. That was in line with consensus. Net interest margins, this is the interesting one, down seven basis points to 1.89%, slightly better than consensus. Core, which is X markets and treasury, was down three bips to 1.8 on the nose. Consensus for that was 1.82. So they're doing reasonably well with managing their current money scenario. They're doing reasonably well with you know making sure that they don't lose too much money on the margin side while still also competing on their loan book side. And that's what you saw into it. So not interest income increased by $1.5 billion. That was 17% above consensus. Costs fell 5% to $5.4 billion, and notable items costs were up 3%. Bad and doubtful debts, this is the one that everybody's watching, down nine basis points to 362 million. The consensus was for a 10 basis point decline. So again, pretty even with where we all sit across it. Results largely in line. I need to point out there very clearly. Capital element is encouraging. Do you want to come back to that sort of dividend though? There is a very big argument to be made that they're currently delivering cash earnings back to shareholders at a probably an unsustainable rate. And sooner or later, they're going to have to make a decision, a tough one at that, to probably pull it back and have a look at it. Worst deteriorating also in asset quality, lower overall provision charge, and return on equity remains the lowest of the big four banks at 3.9%. Now, don't forget, Westpac is up 15.4% since January 1 this year. This result was met pretty much with glee. So again, interesting on the back of it. But it, Westpac still has some structural issues that it's getting through, and they still haven't fully recovered from the brand issues that have been going through with the Oztrack and APRA issues of the last five years.